Hi guys, Constantin here, uh, CGC. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a very special um, Ethernet switch. It's a Netgear 10 gigabit 8 port switch. It's called XS508M and this switch is a part of my uh, upgrade that I'm doing at my um, home network to move it to 10 gigabits as well. Um, the reason why I purchased this switch is because it has a lot of 10 gigabit ports and I have a lot of 10 gigabit devices in the house at the moment and I just needed to migrate everything to 10 gigabits and this switch at the moment is one of the two switches I could find that has uh, the number of 10 gigabit ports that I need. Uh, the next one is a TP-Link now the reason why I went for Netgear is um, they've got a good brand. I've owned Netgear products before. They were really good in terms of software. It's not that good. Um, I did have some problems in the past with Netgear routers. They do tend to uh, freeze once at a couple of months and you need to reboot them. But overall the build quality has always been decent with Netgear. I've never had faults with, equipment, with their equipment and stuff like that. It is a bit more on the expensive side but th that cost goes into uh, better quality I would say and um, um, better support product support because you get some product support with them as well you get some firmware upgrades now and then so um, yeah and um, again this is a uh, oriented for small businesses uh, but um, as I said if you're like a content creator want to be like myself uh, and you need a switch that handles a lot of 10 gig devices uh, this is one of the very few options you got that can connect up to eight ports now the uh, thing that i like about it is i'm gonna see if I, I can show you this is the fact that one of the ports is sfp plus and you can connect 10 gig 10 gig fiber to it or 10 gig copper cable via sfp plus port that's very useful if you have to run a cable long distance from a place to another if you're a business let's say from one floor to another it's very useful if you want to run fiber through the building uh, in my case uh, it's going to be useful as well because i'm going to be connecting fiber optic to this port here the disadvantage is that um, you only have eight ports so if you use the sfp plus the eighth port on the um, copper ethernet will be disabled so you can only use eight at a given time other features for this uh, uh, switch are, uh, apart from uh, um, the vast number of 10 gig ports, is the fact that they can auto adapt as well. So the fact that if you have less than 10 gig network uh, equipment in your house, it will auto adapt the, that speed. Let's say you've got like one gig uh, computers or two and a half gig or five gig. You will adapt to that thing most of the devices do it anyways nowadays auto adapt is not a massive feature but um it's good to know that it's there and they advertise it apparently it has um very silent operation as well uh, it has a limited lifetime warranty for hardware i doubt it but okay but they do say that uh, they have like a hardware they have a support system that if it goes down they promise a replacement as soon as the next day now for the business this is very useful it could prove useful for myself as well again this is a device that's built to run 24 7 and the fact that it runs up to 10 connections at 10 gigabit it will get warm that's why it has a fan which apparently is um uh quiet now the other thing that i purchased this switch compared to the tp link one that i found it had about eight ports as well they run 10 gig is the fact that i'm going to show it to you once we do the unboxing you can put this one in a rack on its own most of my equipment sits on a rack in, anyways, so I can just put this on a rack without putting a uh, rack shelf or anything like that. So that's again useful, it saves me a bit of money as well. A rack shelf can be a bit of expensive. Uh, what else does it have? As I, we discussed the combo port, we discussed the total number of ports, we discussed the hardware. Um, right, um, it shows you on the back, it shows you a diagram of uh, examples on what to connect to it, routers, computers. Um, NAS drive devices it's in multiple languages but we all know that um, the other thing that they I wanted to show you guys is apparently it's plug-and-play but don't be fooled by it everything is plug-and-play um, 
in terms of Ethernet, uh, unmanaged Ethernet. You just connect it, connect the cables to it, and it goes. Now, the fact that it's unmanaged means you can't do any software um, customizing to your network or VLAN or anything like that. It doesn't have like a console that you connect so you can uh, do like uh, port aggregation with the ports or anything like that. So it's just raw 10 gigabit switch. It doesn't have any functionality, any other. Um, uh, console management or anything like that is just a switch a blind switch right so let's carry on with the unboxing like the case Netgear style because it's business orientated it's, it doesn't have bling bling or anything like that which I don't mind to be honest let's have a look at this bad boy it's the first time it's first time unboxing for myself as well Hopefully this should get captured in the video, so uh, you've got a power cable, so this does not have a power adapter, the power adapter is inside it, it only has a power cable, in my case I've got two of them apparently, I've got one UK one which I need, and one EU one which I don't need, it's going to stay in the box. Uh, you've got screws. Let's have a look at the screws for a moment. I need to have a look at them so I could see how I'm gonna fit this. Let's put the plugs down. Let's put the screws here and let's have a look at the router as well and we'll go through all of it. You've got paperwork. It comes in decent, decent boxing, fairly fairly well protected right okay let's unbox this puppy as you can see first time unboxing it and yes really good very very nice here we go guys sorry about the angle I don't have too much space in the house right so Let's go for the accessories because I need to look for them as well. So you've got screws, you've got mounting screws for this rack support, you've got little plastic legs, again my, I'm not going to use them, and you've got two mounting brackets, one and two. These mounting brackets get mounted on the side of the router, I'm going to show you. like this and then you put it on your 19 inch rack it has a Kensington lock in the back you might not be able to see it because of low light I'm hoping you would uh, and as I showed you you've got your eight ports in the front and your SFP plus port now the combo is apparently LED 127 if it's 10G you got two green LEDs if it's 5G one green LED twin on the left hand side if it's two and a half G one G LED on the right hand side and if it's 1G or less it's yellow LED right so you can visually see what your speed connection is which is cool right so okay I'm gonna need some better screws because I can't just screw this one like this Right, so what we do we have here? So we have the fan, the build quality is metal casing. I would expect that. You got some serial numbers here. And that's it guys. It looks really really well made. I'm gonna be testing this in a minute. And if it's worth anything it's worth doing, I'm gonna be putting a video uh, with the test as well. Right, cool. Thank you for watching. Right, so this is the Netgear switch uh, in operation after I've installed it in the rack. As I said, uh, it fits really well in a 19 inch rack. No issues, it's really silent, I can't hear it. I can hear my servers running, but I can't hear the switch, which is enjoyable. Even the UDM Pro is a bit louder than it. Um, everything seems to be operating at nominal parameters. So I've got 10 gig where I should have 10 gig. I have two and a half gig where I should have two and a half gig. Um, and I've got 10 gig fiber running as well so uh, all is well so far I'm gonna do a bit of 
um, download tests and we'll see what this bad boy can do. Right guys, so let's do the practical test now. Uh, as you can see here, um, the network is up and running and the current speed of the network is 10 gigabytes per second. This is a Marvel um, 10 gigabit adapter. It's included in the motherboard I currently have. This is a connection of 10 gigabits between my computer and uh, the network. And what we're gonna do is at 10 gigabits per second, we're gonna copy a file from two, uh, two, two MVAV drives. So I, I made sure there's plenty of speed on the drives themselves and they don't get saturated because if you do use SATA drives, even though it's SSD, they saturate at six gigabits per second. And now SATA drives uh, are a bit faster than that. So uh, the diminution, the, the factor that uh, chokes it is the 10 gigabit internet con internet connection so um, right um, what I'm going to show you is a copy paste file of a 50 gigabit file I think it's let me just see yeah it's it's, a bo it's more than 50 gigabits so let's say between 50 and 60 gigabits of data copied across a 10 gigabits per second network so here we go I'm just going to issue earlier so paste Right, I'm sure you can see this. I've got 1.08 gigabits per second speed and I'm copying 50 gigabits in less than a minute. We're just gonna sync, let that one sink in. I'm gonna show you um, 2.5 gigs and one gig copy speeds as well. We're not gonna wait for those because they're gonna be a lot longer. This is just 10 gigabits per second just to show you how speed the network is, uh, how fast the network is. Um, and just to show you the speed and what you can get now obviously as i said you need mvme drives uh, at least pcie 3.0 3000 megabits per second in order to achieve this speed if you copy from three and a half inch hard disk drives or set ssd drives you're not going to get this speed so uh, <coughs> while we finish this discussion we've just copied 50 gigabits I in conclusion, uh, the Netgear XS508M is a very good solution for those seeking to upgrade their network to a very fast 10 gigabit network while uh, taking advantage of fast transfer rate.